Okay, so this year we're showing uh, the Vox Olympian and the Vox Elysian. Last year we showed the Palladian and the Palladian Basso. So this is the, the top model that we make. It's fundamentally the same DNA as the Palladian, Palladian Basso, but it's, it's executed to the nth degree in terms of fit and finish. Um, <clears throat> there are some technological differences that elevate its performance. It's a five-way uh, horn system, so the the low bass is fully horn loaded. The mid bass is horn loaded. It, it's all, it's a full range horn, which I think distinguishes it from a lot of loudspeakers, which like to get lower bass extension by changing the technology for the low end. And I, I personally have some problems with that. I can never get that to be seamlessly integrated. So yes, we're showing that and we're using some of the old Mr. Condo amplifier designs with the M77. Uh, a, a, an SJS phono stage for one of the tone arms, a, a Condo M7 phono stage for the other. This is the Monaco uh, Audio Grand Prix, the Grand Prix Audio Monaco 2 record player. And we've got a, a Kuzma 4 point and a Fuga, loading into a Lundell Permaloy Transformer 1 to 32. And we have a, a Vivlabs RF7 rigid float tone arm with a, a 1958 design fundamentally. So a modern record player and a 1958 cartridge. This is the Autophon SPU A85. The whole of the system is running off this 800 ampere hour battery power supply um, with two paralleled inverters. And the whole thing's hooked up with condo wire. You're doing things in a very different way. Mm -hmm. Spoke, exotic luxurious. Can you tell us a, little, a bit about a living voice philosophy and you know what what are you trying to represent you know musically? Yeah well the challenge in audio is, is, is rescuing music from technology and there are many paths to get to the top of the hill and I, I think you just need to have some conviction and some, and some focus and, and, and follow that path. I mean, we, we, we have a range of reflex loaded two-way loudspeakers, which give, uh, a, I find, a very profound and meaningful musical experience and you're not distracted by any thought that the music is being reproduced through mechanical devices and, and I'm very very happy with that and there's an integrity to that technology there's an integrity to this technology in, the, in that it's, it's it's using horn loading throughout using Alnico magnets throughout got beryllium upstairs aluminium paper paper the, you know the, the musical experience is is a very delicate and fragile thing and what I think what we want from our hi-fis is to be able to forget about them I mean they, they, they're, they're you don't want to be reminded of the fact you're listening to a hi-fi. You want to have an emotional journey, whatever that emotion might be, through music. And it's an easy thing to say. Lots of people say, oh, we create emotions, we make emotional things. But to actually get there is, is, is really quite difficult, and it involves very, very careful voicing and blending of materials, technology types. So we spend hours and hours and hours, weeks, months, we've spent years developing these speakers through iterative development, uh, empirical development, and I think that's why you know, people find them a, a profoundly musical thing. <laughs> 